This is the PlayFootball.com podcast, and I'm Jeff Fisher of High School Football America. When it came to high school football in the 80s and 90s, everyone in America knew Berwick, Pennsylvania. The Berwick Bulldogs caught the fancy of America when USA Today began naming mythical national champions in the early 80s. Under legendary head coach George Curry, the tiny town of Berwick won three mythical national championships between 1983 and 1995. The first national championship team was led by NFL legend Bo Orlando, who was a two-way starter at quarterback and defensive back. In a recent conversation with Orlando, who spent 10 years in the NFL as a defensive back, he talked about the importance of lessons he learned from his high school coach, who amassed 455 wins during his career. He was a football mastermind. Um, he was an unbelievable speaker. This and that. But that guy to, 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 that he taught all these young, that he raised all these young men, and that's all I said. That's how we all, everybody from Burke, like, you know, he, he taught young men. He didn't teach football. He taught young men. He had had to be a man. And that's what I take out. And I kind of exemplify the most I can from all his things I do. And, and yet to say, like, I'm not even an inkling of what he was, but, um, but, I, but I'm a prodigy of it, and I try to do the best that I can. Orlando, who is currently the athletic director at his hometown school in Berwick and is an assistant coach in the football team, says there is a lot of Coach Curry in his coaching style. I don't do a lot of scheme, but I do, I'm, I'm a technician and that's how I was in the NFL. Like I, my first coach and the guy that drafted me was Nick Saban, you know, came to West Virginia and worked me out by myself for like 45 minutes one day. And I was falling over my feet because, you know, to work, to work out by yourself as a defensive back, when a guy comes in there, you know, I mean, a half hour, 45 minutes is a long time, <laughs> you know, so he's, he's working me out and I'm falling, you know, falling over. But, you know, Nick was, it was a freaking every little step, you know, how he coaches now. I mean, every little detailed thing. And, you know, I, it was second nature to me because I came from coach Curry, which, <laughs> you know, we just did it over and over and over again. And to me, that's when I started coaching, I used the same analogy. And I, I, I just got back to fundamentals. Like I feel that, if you have great fundamentals and great technique, you can play in any scheme. I can ask you to do anything. You can play in the zone, you know, bail, you can do any kind of thing disguised, but you got to have some technique. And that's where I, that's where I came from. When I coached for Liberty, you know, we were in the state finals three times and uh, we lost twice and once one, uh, one time. And uh, that's what we, we ran two coverages, but we ran them very, very well. My kids can come out and, you know, I got the thing where coach Curry, you know, we had to be vocal. He'd call you out. Like, what is this? Or watching film and this and that. You had to, you had to pay attention and be, be on key. So I would have my kids um, up to the board. And I would, you know, anybody that laughed, I would kick them, kick them out of the room. I said, this is a laughing matter. I said, I wish, I wish somebody would have put me on the board. You know what I mean? Like, you know, in college and all this and that. Because once, I, I wish I would have known what I know now, coaching, when I was playing. I mean, you'd be really, really dangerous. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And, uh so I just take a lot of things from Coach Curry. And my first thing uh, coming back is I think I coached for a couple of years there. And then the first player that one of the first teams I've coached, the guy came, he came back after college and came out to football practice. And they would always come back, all the players. You know how they come back to the football guys and hang yep. out. It's like, you know, and, I, and I'm looking and I'm like, you know, here, here's a kid that a coach in high school all the way up through and then he comes back from college. What a young man. He's, you know, it means doing well. He's got a job now. It's just that like, and you had a part in his life. Like, you know, and that's when it made me realize like, wow, this is what coach Curry, this is the gratification. Definitely. It, was, it wasn't the pay. But this is the <laughs> gratification that, that a, you know, any kind of coach, whether it's any level, um, but more so in, in, in the lower levels, like, this is the gratification. Like I had a part in that kid's life. Like that kid comes back to see, see his coaching staff. Like me, I coached him in, in high school. Like, you know, that not only did that I teach him football, that I taught him things in, about, about life. Orlando was never the biggest player on the field, whether it was at Berwick or West Virginia University or playing defensive back in the NFL for a decade. And he told me there was one thing that helped move him all the way up to playing on Sundays. I lived in the weight room. I mean, I was, I was a 420, I, the most I ever did at West Virginia had the record at the DBs. I was 420 pound bencher. Like I just lived in the weight room. Like I was just strong and, and I played heavier. Now I wasn't a big guy, even in the NFL, I wasn't a big guy, but I was a very good tackler. I was a very good, you know I mean? I wasn't, you know, I was a better tackler than I was than, than a pass defender, but, um, you know, but all, but all those things, I mean, it's just, uh, you know, it, it just, 
all those little things that I fought through being smaller and this and that and, and just through football, the discipline and the, the tough times and the good times. And, and I think just all those attributes, that's why I say, like, you know, Coach Curry just taught us to be young men. It, it, it's, it's much more. I was just talking to a guy in a coffee shop the other day, and he said, if you don't touch somebody's life other than it, it's much more than football, you have to change their, their lives in, in, in a sense, mm-hmm. you know, and teach these kids life skills. It's, it's life. And it, it's, it's absolutely, it's absolutely correct. What was, is more important in your life, that 83 national championship as a, as a bulldog or, or, or getting to the, getting to the league. But you know what, probably the 80, if you ask me right now, probably the 83 championship team. Cause I had lifelong friends. I tell these high school guys, I said, listen, I have a lot of friends that, you know, I played in, I have great friends. That I played in college and the pros and everything I said, but those 83 guys were guys I was raised from, you know, from kindergarten through some of those guys. And we did some, we, 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 you know, shared life up to 18 years old. We had a lot of stuff going on. You know what I mean? So I, I don't know. To me, I think this was more important. That's why, that's why coming back here and taking the AD and everybody's like, Oh yeah, you bet the NFL. Like, I don't, I don't think about that. Like I'm, I made it to the NFL. I don't look at myself that way. I look at myself like, you know, I'm, I'm a Burke kid that did well and I'll come back and I care and I don't want to see this program go down and I'll do anything I have to, um, whether it's AD or anything. And I care about all the sports. It's not just football, but I care. I'm passionate about that all the time. I'm, you know, our volleyball team's going, I'm, I'm at the games. I mean, go to a lot of games and, and I, I want Burke to win. I mean, I, 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 I don't, I, I don't like to lose. And that's something that's still to me, whether it is now I want to do it and be a, be a sport about it and be, you know what I mean? And, and be a man about it or be a good sportsman and all that. But I don't like to lose. And uh, I, I, I just say Burke is a, is a very, very special place for me. Orlando's tale of the tape in the NFL was he was selected with the 157th overall pick in the sixth round of the 1989 NFL draft by the Houston Oilers, finishing his career with 10 interceptions, returning one of them for a score, and recording 301 tackles with 168 of those being of the solo variety. I'm Jeff Fisher of High School Football America, and you've been listening to the PlayFootball.com podcast. And coaches, don't forget to go to Play Football for great resources to help you and the coaches coaching profession no matter what level. That's playfootball.nfl.com.